have sworn I like put it here. Maybe it's on top. Okay, I found it. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Lulu and welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to do a video on corkscrew thread curls on my natural hair. I already blew it out using Arvazalia products and that was my previous video, so go ahead and check it out if you wanna see what I did with my hair. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to use the Premium Argan Oil Hair Treatment and just a little bit, there we go. And I'm just gonna put it through my hair and I'm just gonna section my hair off. Let's clip this out of the way. And here's our little section of hair. Now we're gonna use the Ultra Defining Cream. Just a little bit of cream, honestly, you guys, don't use too much. Oh, and you have 4C hair, it's gonna shrink on you with just like the smallest drop of almost moisture. So just a little bit, very small amount. And just apply it to your hair and really work it through. Try not to touch the roots too much, but if you do, it's okay. You don't want it to feel damp when you touch it on this side. This side, that's okay. This side, you don't want that because it's not gonna dry. Your hand is not gonna be as sensitive on this side when it comes to moisture, but on this side, it's gonna be very sensitive. And when you do like so, you're gonna feel the moisture, but you do like so, you're not gonna feel the moisture really. And that is the perfect moisture level for curls. It's just kind of like the way you test for baby's formula. You know, when you have a baby, and you're testing for the formula, um, you use the top of your hand, not the palm, so that way it's not too hot. You don't need to have a long piece of thread, it's about arm's length up to here. Starting at the roots, grab your thread and just use your thumb to secure your thread up here. And then start wrapping, wrap like five times. So that's one, two, three, four, five and then you're going to just pull to tension slowly pull to tension you can't see me pulling the thread but i'm really pulling it for real okay and then once it feels like it's secure and not too tight just secure you can start wrapping going down all right so we're gonna go down loose sections You've got your hair right here and you got your thread right here. So just pinch your hair with one hand. <laughs> it's running away from me. Pinch your hair with one hand and then hold your thread tightly and you're gonna push your hair up and back to the roots. That's what it's looking like. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna Thread the hair all the way to the end of that little piece of hair. Right there. And then we're gonna curve back and wrap it like once around the base. We're gonna cut the thread. There is our threaded curl. Now we're gonna do this again. Here's our thread and we're gonna just Use our thumb to secure it on the underside and then wrap around one, two, three, four, five times. Hold the thread and just slowly tug on it to tighten it until you feel like it's secure but not too tight because you don't want it too tight. All right, now it's secure, so we're gonna go down just go down large sections so that way your hair can actually curl around the thread. And get all the way down to the bottom, leaving approximately a centimeter of hair out. Then what you're gonna do is hold on to the thread. With your other hand, you're going to hold on to your hair and just Tension the thread as you push your hair up. And really try to tighten it so that way you can get better curls. Then just wrap around the hair that's left out. 
so you can keep this part of your hair straight. You don't want it to be kinky and you also want it to just be protected. Once you're done wrapping around it, you're going to get the piece of thread and just wrap around the base one time and then cut. This one looks prettier than the first one. I didn't tighten the first one as much as the second one. And usually when you go at a certain speed, like if you keep the momentum going, the size tends to be the same all the way down. If you slow down, stop, start, stop, start, it usually ends up being like choppy in size. You see how this is fat right there? That's because that section was larger than these. So if you try to keep them the same size, they're gonna look something like this. Find where your thread was. That thread is not relevant. But just look for your thread. There it is. And just start unraveling it. And then the rest of the hair is gonna come down. See? And unwrap the hair. And there's our first curl. I actually sat under the dryer for approximately an hour. It was on low heat, so that's what helped set my curls. I am loving this curling cream. It's lightweight, but it gets the job done, so I'm happy. So here's our second curl. Remember I told you I didn't tighten this one like I did this one? And notice that this one's just a little bit looser. If you don't really push up all the way and tighten it, then it's gonna be kinda loose compared to this. I'm just gonna separate the curls down the middle. Like split them in half and then split them in half again. And try not to ruin the curl. It's gonna be kinda hard to ruin the curl because the hair was already straight and you didn't actually twist around anything so it's pretty much going in one direction so you can literally split it anywhere and it's not going to like get messed up. Just loosen it by going in a downward motion and then split it in half and then split it in half again and again until you get it the way you like it. And that's all there is to it. Your hair is already straight and detangled before doing the threading so you won't really have problems because it's not like you twisted your hair or you Bantu knotted your hair so you won't have problems with the whole splitting of the hair. I'm gonna grab a knee-high stocking and tie my hair up in a high curly puff. And just wrap it around. And what I do is I push the back up and then tighten it. So that's all I do. Just push the back up a bit, tighten it a bit, push the back up, and tighten it a bit more. I think that's good enough. And just make sure it's not too tight because you actually want to be able to breathe. And just tie it in the back or the front, doesn't really matter. So yeah. I have the last of my bobby pins, the remnant, and I'm just gonna pin down my hair where the stray hairs are. I want it to be big and poofy. I'm just loving them. I think this is cute. I hope this is showing up because I can't see. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, definitely give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below and subscribe. And if you have any requests for natural hair videos, regimen building, all that stuff, let me know. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.